Hey, this is Shannon Burke, and I am proud to pass the baton of the home show to two guys that really know what they're talking about when it comes to home improvement. Please welcome Dan Watkins and Jim Niarcos, hosts of the All Four Seasons Home Show. Thanks, Shannon. We're real happy to be part of the News Radio 1067 family here at the All Four Seasons Home Show with your host, Dan Watkins. And Dan's off taking care of some business this week, but he'll be back next week. I'm Jim Niarcos, and, you know, we have a very special guest, or should I say guest here? Usually we have one guest. We're lucky we have two guests here this week, and we're talking with Progressive Lighting. Now, Progressive Lighting's got several locations. have been around a long time. I know you folks think you know them, but unless you've been there, Believe me, listen closely because you're going to learn a lot about lighting. There's much more uh, to lighting than just putting that little chandelier in your dining room. So this is going to be a great show, and I'd like to welcome Andrea Sims and Angie Jackson from Progressive Lighting. Welcome, ladies. I know you've been here before with Shannon, and I hope you enjoyed as much uh, as you have in the past. Thank you. Thank We're you happy to be back. here. If I could get the listeners, for those of you who have may not heard you in the past uh, with Shannon, if you could just give a maybe a short little bio about yourselves and, and, and then how progressive lighting came to be and their history, because I know they've been around for a while. Yes, we've been in, in business for over 50 years. Um, we have five locations around the metro area. Uh, progressive lighting has just, we really have changed a lot over the years just to meet our customers' needs. Um, we We vary from... The builder aspect all the way to the simple customer looking for a print in the showroom and cover all aspects of it. So, I mean, there's not anything you couldn't come into our showrooms and see. Um, We have everything from, you know, outdoor furniture. We have some patio furniture. We have mirrors. We have table lamps. We have floor lamps. um, We have chandeliers, flush mounts. We have a variety of everything that you could possibly need. Not only that, a lot of people don't realize we do specialize in light bulbs. I mean, we carry all of the nostalgic LED bulbs, all dimmers. There's a lot of aspects of things that people don't realize that we carry. Basically, if it has anything to do with electrical needs as far as switching dimmers, um, we can get it or chandeliers. Well, I wanted to ask you, ladies, how has technology impacted improvements and options in lighting? Well, I mean, the technology just... Coming from LED, or actually coming, excuse me, from incandescent to LED is just dramatic. The technology, you can get an Edison-based nostalgic bulb now in LED. So you get that really cool look, but you're getting the light that you need. The biggest change has been the amount of lumens that LED is giving us versus what incandescent was. So you're getting so much more of a brighter, whiter light than you used to could get. And now with the technology, you can dim that. You can dim almost everything, so you're getting the ability to have it as bright as possible, but then you can dim it down and still create a softer mood at the same time. And you're not getting in that flickering because a lot of people are going with the whole house dimming systems or the smart systems or the really cool where you can take your iPad and turn on the lights when you come in. Right. All of <clears throat> all of our fixtures and technology is working together, so it's, you're not going to get that lovely flicker or two minutes when you get into the house, your light turns on, which a lot of times fluorescence and things like that you would get into. Well, it, it goes to say that uh, your lighting consultants are very important in the process from A to Z. They are. Our, our consultants actually are all ALA certified, which they go through a lot of training to be able to help the customer come in that is looking for a dining room fixture or the, or the builder that wants to do a whole house layout. They're they go through a lot of training and a lot of time is invested to be able to help a customer in the best way that possible. Sometimes when we uh, are starting to talk to the customers, we start asking them a lot of questions and they go, well, why are you asking me that? And they think that we're grilling them and they then they start to realize that, wait a minute, I didn't think about that. And then they find out that, hey, they really need to think about what all of these things are that come together that are really important to make it all happen yeah and it's a lot more to think about than it used to be when you're putting together wattages and dimmers and chandeliers to make it all equal and not make buzzing sounds and flickering and it's just not as simple as it used to be safe exactly well and also to make it pretty because we don't want to sell nothing ugly you know (laughs) right of course i mean you know we don't want you to get a chandelier that is 
too big for the space or too small for the space, or if you've got a farmhouse look that you're looking for and you're picking out a, t- a light that would not coincide with that look or or it doesn't, now I want to say match, because everybody's kind of steering away from the matchy-matchy type look, mm-hmm. but they're also, we just want everything in the house to flow. We to try make. not to let them just pick everything from a catalog and pick a whole matching set. Mm-hmm. You know, we try to help them design things that coordinate, but that's like they just didn't pick it all out to go together. So you found yourself in the image business as well. It is. Lighting mm-hmm. is the Tiffany of the house. I mean, it the really it is. It is the jewelry of the house. Are any special electrical wiring upgrades necessary for all these different, uh, uh, if somebody wants to put all this in their home or a lot of it, do they have to worry about the wiring or generally is it is it um, compatible? It is. You do have to worry about the wiring because you have um, some LED systems that have to have drivers that have to have low voltage wiring. You have to have, there's a lot of things, and that's where our consultants and also we have outside field representatives that actually work with the electricians and work with the builders, contractors, or even the homeowners to, we can actually say yay or nay if it will work or get the components to make it work, whether it's drivers, transformers, any any of things like that. So basically when you pick out everything, we think of all those problems and or concerns or anything like that. That's why we that's why we I don't want to say get in your business, but we do get in your business to find out. Well it seems like it would be it would be a wise decision for anybody who's building a home, a custom home, to have you folks involved right from the very, very beginning. Oh absolutely. Yeah. yeah. The earlier the better because then we can go ahead and help them to foresee things that, you know, they might want to do earlier on so they can get it wired in the early stages. Do you find yourself involved a lot with, I mean, do the builders say, hey, uh, That's ladies, the biggest we need part you of over our here business. to, to, yeah. to yes. make sure we're doing this right. We don't want to do it 10 times over. Yes. Well, yes. And exactly. And not only that, our, our field reps, actually, when they go out to the house, they get all the measurements of the ceiling, the down rods, if there's going to be fans. Also, we importance of codes. We have to make sure that everything is in code with, you know, uh, your electrical codes, you know, there's a right. whole lot of things that people don't realize that come into effect. So we have, when we tell you, no, you can't have that chandelier because it's right over your tub, the inspector's not going to pass it. You don't have to worry about that. That's what we do. So a lot of these folks will think they can go down to the big box store and they can just get all this lighting and their dimmers and they're going to do this and that. They may be setting themselves up for a lot of aggravation. They're yes. setting themselves up for the electricians to have a lot of aggravation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the builders and, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. You know, uh, I have I saw something, and I don't want to jump ahead of things here, but I find it very interesting to hear the term fandelier. <laughs> what on <laughs> earth is a fandelier, it's ladies? because you just saw this picture sitting yes. here and you're intrigued. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. There's so many people that hate the look of a ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. So um, our manufacturer, that Savoy House, came up with this phenomenal idea of making a ceiling fan that looks more like a chandelier that has a ceiling fan inside of it. Now, who came up with this design? Uh, Savoy House. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a manufacturer, Savoy House, which is um, a manufacturer that is based out of Atlanta. They're actually, their distribution center is out of Atlanta. The the fandeliers are perfect for breakfast areas in case you're kind of like me and you Mm -hmm. burn something when you're cooking. You can Mm -hmm. turn that on. Mm -hmm. Um, Master bath chandeliers uh, or fandeliers for the master bath. Also, master bedrooms because you want that elegant, nice look for your master bedroom but don't want to have a 52-inch ceiling fan but would like to have some wind to go over. Right, right, right. I know that uh, most people are very concerned about energy efficiency. Is that possible with these elaborate uh, lighting? Mm -hmm. It is because we can integrate that LED bulb that we were talking about to give that real cool nostalgic look, and you can go with LED for your energy energy star. And these are also, um, they have an ionization in the fans to where they are helping to purify the air. No kidding. Yes. Thank you, Andrea. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I'd like to get, you know, we're up against a break, but I, I would like to get more into that when we come back. That's very interesting. I knew you two were going to be interesting <laughs> the minute you walked through the studio door. Well, okay? thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the All Four Seasons Home Show. I'm Jim Nearkus, and we have as our special subject matter experts this week talking about all things to do with lighting. Andrea and Angie from Progressive Lighting. Let there be light, folks. We'll be right back.
You're listening to the All Four Seasons Home Show on News Radio 1067. Here are your hosts, Dan Watkins and Jim Niarcos. Welcome back to the All Four Seasons Home Show. I'm your host, Jim Niarcos, and we are here with Progressive Lighting, Andrea and Angie. And we're talking about all things to do with lighting, and I'm telling you, there's a lot more than you ever dreamed. So, y'all tune in and lighten up. Ladies, welcome back. <laughs> we were talking about fans that actually, uh, fandeliers, fans lights, and the fans fr- uh, purify the air and all this. Are you telling us the truth, ladies? Yes, absolutely. Tell us about these all wonderful right. inventions. So, there are fans that have ionization. So that is where the molecules do something, (laughs) and I actually don't know exactly how that works, but it is an air ionization that purifies the air that you breathe, Uh and then they actually, there's some that have crystals so that you can actually get a more decorative, fancy chandelier look. Beautiful, yeah. While it's also, they're energy efficient. They have LED, um, some of them have the LED lights in them so that you're actually getting good light options. So it's something that in a ceiling fan is hitting everyone's need. And to get it get it far as it because a lot of people are concerned about because they're a little bit smaller. They're not the standard everybody thinks because it's a fifty two inch fan, it's gonna produce a lot of air movement. But the fandeliers actually go anywhere from seventy one to eighty six cubic feet per minute per watt. So it's gonna produce some air. I mean it's it's actually very when just come in the showroom and see them because it is it, it's more of a pushing and pulling of the air. So instead of it put, you know, a normal fan is pushing um, the fan outward more. Um, it's based more on the pitch of the blade. With a fandelier, it's pushing and pulling the air more up through the motor and back out. So you're getting a better circulation of the air. Within a standard ceiling fan, you're getting it pushing more out into the room. This is actually a little bit better type of circulation when you're underneath the fan. It seems like they, that a fandelier might possibly be beneficial, beneficial like in a game room or a mm-hmm. rec room where maybe you have some smokers or mm-hmm. something. That, absolutely. It would be helpful. Is that right? Yes. Or allergies. And, allergies. And, allergies. That's yes, right. Absolutely. We all know about allergies here yeah, in Atlanta. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and it's also great for master baths uh, coming out of the showers. Oh, yeah. Um, we do even have some to go outside. There are some that outdoor are damp- rated. That are outdoor rated. So really? you'll have them over the cool porches if you don't have enough space yeah. for a big 52-inch fan. Right. Um, so you can use them all in pretty much any application. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's it, you tell me about now that we're kind of on the <laughs> on these unusual products. You have some some other cool things, too. Uh, you want to talk about your next uh, next item that maybe the, the folks may not be aware of. They're in a lighting store or that, that you know, that that uh, is kind of trendy now that they may may want to consider. Well, a lot of things with lighting it has become. A focal point in the room. It, a lot of times in construction or remodeling and a lot of different things, there is less is better. They're going with a lot less trim work. They're doing a lot less, a lot less in the room. So your lighting becomes the focal point. Your lighting does. It's actually a conversation piece. So when you walk into a room, you you don't want it to be the only attention in the room, but you want it to actually make it pop or make it, like I said earlier, a conversation piece. So a lot of things are. It's not your standard fixtures anymore. You've got some really cool chain link um, or even cable LED fixtures that are really neat looking. You've got a lot of the chandeliers that you can, um, that actually the light changes colors. So you can do red one minute for your holidays or, and then it also goes back to the standard crystal chandelier for the holidays when you're wanting to have that nice elegant dinner. You've got your crystal. So there's not really anything that we can't find we've got a lot of homeowners come in and say i want this and it's a picture on one of the web pages of a restaurant or they saw something cool at hilton head or something Mm -hmm. and then we we carry so many different vendors give us about 10 15 minutes we'll probably find it or something like it so and everybody's taste is different you can have somebody that wants the old little chandelier here but then you want the more contemporary cool looking no glass no crystal just looks like 
a can, you know, yeah. per se. So everything in between. Well, you know, it's really cool when I'm listening to you all, and and it sounds like although you're you've been around for 50 years, and you have so many wonderful products. But I'm impressed with the flexibility how you say, even if they want something different, you'll find it or, 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 or uh, you know, have your consultants work on it or whatever. You, you, it sounds like you really are very customer service, service oriented. And, and a big part of your commitment is making people happy, each individual Absolutely. desire. I mean, anyone that I'm working with in the showroom, I just tell them, bring me a picture. And if you can find it, whether it's Hal's, Pinterest, whoever, you saw it at someone's house, a restaurant, just like Angie said, I will find it. It is my mm-hmm. mission. I will find it. It's out there. I will get it for you. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it, if I can't find the exact one, I will find you something as close as I can. I mean, it's there's so many wonderful, unique pieces out there now. Um, that we can get and just you either can make it a bold statement Mm -hmm. or you can make it just kind of go away in the room or we can make it like art now that's the neat thing about lighting do you ladies have any personal favorites of any pieces or uh, items that you think are just really cool that you'd like to tell the listeners about I mean I think our our main popular line is Savoy House that is just because that's Progressive's line that is one line that you won't find in your home centers that you won't find in different places Mm -hmm. Um, so that that line is so unique because of the it's got your transitional to your contemporary to your traditional and everything in between and it is just one of the lines like I said you can't get anywhere else it's really cool and not only that it's just when when a customer comes in or a homeowner or something like that it's it's fun for us that's why we love to find out what your furniture is, what your tile is, what everything is, so that way we can make sure you're getting the same light that you're you're supposed to get. And not only that, for the builders, too, so as many builders and contractors as we work for. Well, they have for. a very diverse price range, too. Yes. You know, you can get um, one of the great things about Savoy House is the price range is for, you know, you can get something at a good entry-level price point as well as, you know, a higher end, you know, if someone's looking for that higher price range as well. So you've got something for everyone. Well, you know, that's important, ladies, because, you know, one's own perception is one's own reality. And with the reputation that you folks have built, I'm sure people who have not visited visited you yet or done business with you yet are very impressed with progressive lighting. But they may have the perception there is not a something for us because we can't afford these real, real elegant, expensive lighting fixtures that we just we just love so much to look at and admire, but as you said, there's that that's not true. No, we go. Why don't from, you expound on that a little bit? We go from the first time home buyers, all the way up to the million dollar customers and everything in between. And just because you're not spending X amount of money on a chandelier doesn't mean you get does do not get the same customer service as if you're coming in buying a sixty. Everybody's light bulb. important. Everybody right. is. It, it is very very. We also have a price match guarantee that if you find it on the web, which you know, a lot of people do. Everybody loves Google. Um, if you find it, bring that picture in with that pricing. We'll we'll figure out how what the best thing to do is because we also carry so many different right. vendors, not just Savoy House. We right. carry a mass vendor list to order from. So there's all aspects of it that a lot of people don't realize. I mean, we sell the little gumball light for I don't know ten fifteen dollars all the way up to the thirty thousand dollar chandelier and everything in between. Well, you know, it, it's uh, it's it's great great information you're sharing with people because, uh, you know, like you said, they 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 go out to a big box store somewhere and and they see something they like and they think, well, I'm going to get this a lot cheaper mm-hmm. than I can than I can get it at a, at a wonderful store like Progressive Lighting where maybe I would prefer to go, but I can't afford it. And this this is a myth. This is not true. This yeah. is their perception. I think that's the most common misconception mm-hmm. that I run into when I'm working with a lot of the homeowners that I work with. Mm-hmm. I do a lot of builder. Most of my customers are with builders, and the homeowners come in thinking that they're not going to be able to get their whole house of lights. And they are amazed when they start diving into it. Wait a minute. You guys are not nearly as expensive as I thought this was going to be. Wait. I'm going to be able to do my whole house after all. Yeah. So they need to remember that progressive lighting is not just elegant. It's quality and it's affordable. It's yes. all of that. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Right. Without a doubt. Yeah. And, um, well, I tell you, this is, this, is, this is some great information, ladies. I'm just, uh, I'm sitting here take, taking it all in because, like I said, progressive lighting has such a wonderful reputation, so elegant and high quality. But there's much more more to you guys than mm-hmm. 
Not just lighting, yeah. prints, mirrors, yeah. Yeah. accessories, right. furniture. We're up against the break, but we'll be right back here with, with the ladies from Progressive, Progressive Lighting, Andrea and Angie. This is the All Four Seasons Home Show on News Radio 1067. You're listening to the All Four Seasons Home Show on News Radio 1067. Here are your hosts, Dan Watkins and Jim Niarcos. Welcome back to the All Four Seasons Home Show. I'm Jim Niarcos, and we're here with Progressive Lighting, Andrea and Angie. And we're talking about all things to do with lighting and much, much more. Believe me, if you've been listening, uh, you've gotten quite an education. And we're only halfway through. The ladies have got a lot more to talk to you about. So we're going to try to draw you out of the dark into the light and, <laughs> and let you know exactly what's happening in the massive multiple location stores of progressive lighting. You know, falls upon us, ladies, and there's additional emphasis on outdoor lighting options and it's not just inside. Talk to us about what we can do in the fall when it's that nice weather out there. It's not too cold. It's not too warm. People want to be out on the deck and their porches. And and you you can add to the ambiance of all that, can't you, ladies? Oh, of course. Yeah, the, from, from the lighting far as just even flush mounts to actually outdoor chandeliers, there's a lot of times what applications we have found that people are putting a table to sit out and eat and do, but they don't want that just flush mount up on the porch, mm-hmm. so we've come with a actual outdoor rated, wet located chandelier. So you can have a nice chandelier over your table that sits outside, or we're using those applications in those real tall front porches that have got the two-story pretty look, but don't have that little dinky light that hangs down that your neighbors make fun of you when you walk down, you know, drive down the mm-hmm. street. So mm-hmm. we have a large chandeliers and chandeliers that actually can go outside. Not only that, there's one thing I wanted to hit on that a lot of people don't realize on the ceiling fans. There is a damp located fan and a wet located fan. Your damp located ceiling fans can go like on your covered porches, screened in porches, things like that. But you have the wet located where you pretty much that can go over under your covered decks. It can handle the rain pouring on it and things like the that. Humidity the humidity. The humidity. Well, not only that, you could take a water hose and spray it off with it pretty wow. much. Probably it's pretty good to handling the dust and pollen mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. too, right? Mm-hmm. Right. And not only that, as far as the chandeliers, they're just it's a nice seated look or rustic to give that ambience outside so you can enjoy the patio or with the outdoor kitchens if you're so fortunate. Yeah, because so many people use, if you don't use them when they're not outdoor rated, then you're ending up replacing them, you know, three oh, or four sure. months down the road. Sure. Or you see the, you know, when you're driving down the road and you see the blades that are like, you Warped. know, kind of looking a little yeah. limp and, yeah. you know. After a few months, and yeah. they look like they're, you know, flopping like a weeping willow or something. Right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> so, I still do that. Yeah. No, that's, that's, do, do you find that a lot of people are going to you uh, on some outdoor applications and stuff? Or it's is become that something more you educate more them when they come in? No, it's, well, we educate them, but I think more and more it has just, it's been more and more popular due to, I guess, a lot of house.com mm-hmm. and, um, a lot of your HGTV shows, I think creating, inviting outdoor spaces has become just wow. growing in popularity. Yeah. Um, people are just spending more time with their families and enjoying that time uh, outdoors. And because of that, that's bec- created a need for a lot of the lighting manufacturers to make a lot more outdoor rated chandeliers and ceiling fans that are more attractive. And we have just such a large number of options that we just didn't used to have for that. And not only that, it's a lot of the exterior fixtures as far as your garage wall lights, your coach lights by the front door, a lot of that. Once you change one, you kind of want to change all of them because they haven't weathered very well. You know, there's a lot of times. And not only that, the one thing that we see a lot of is everybody goes so much smaller on their exterior fixtures. Mm -hmm. That's where our consultants come in and ask, you know, the questions they need because there is nothing worse, in my opinion, which is going down a subdivision. you got this little dinky light over your garage wall when you have this huge amount of space and that gets into having enough light for security reasons and things like that to pull up or or actually scale is very important you know not only is it for lighting sake but scale scale is a very big thing you you know nothing looks worse than those dinky little lights on your big exterior house right 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 and you know these are all things that i can assure you most people do not think about right right where you can really help them yeah and post lights 
um, pier mounts. There's a whole vast variety of things to, and all of it can correspond with each other to to make that outdoor living space what you want it to be. Mm-hmm. I would imagine that you, that that when a when a customer comes in, that you end up spending quite a bit of time talking with them and asking them questions, and and mm-hmm. and you know it's it's kind of a it's more of a process than just browsing through there and say I want that one. It well, is. Our our business is very relationship building. Mm-hmm. We get a lot of repeat business. We get a lot of, um, it's just a lot of getting to know our customers. And for myself, being in the business as long as I have, a lot of, you know, every time they build a home or they remodel, they, they come back because right. we have established a relationship. Because you have to ask a lot of questions. And you're getting to know what their needs are. And every time they remodel a different part of the house, you're asking new questions and you're, they're exploring new spaces to change out. So, yeah, you're right. You do have to kind of ask a lot of questions and kind of get personal, I guess. We get all up in your business. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. You get all up in their grill. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Well, you know, I've been working with businesses for, for over 30 years, and I tell you, uh, the, the, the one indicator that shows a very healthy business is how much referred, recommended, repeat business they have. And, it, and, and mm-hmm. you kind of touched on that, you know. So, you know, you have a lot of people that come back to you, right? Or they've recommended, they say, hey, my cousin or my neighbor did business with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why I want to come in, right? And our longevity of our employees. Yeah, we oh, have, I know, yeah. We've had a lot of our employees have been there, and we've built relationships with our customers because of that. Now, how long have some of the employees been there? Uh, you told me. We have some of our gentlemen been oh, 45 years. Myself, I'm over 20 years with Progressive Lighting. And I'm almost, I'm 14 years, almost 15 well, it sounds to me like y'all are having too much damn fun over there, yeah, Progressive Lighting. Why, why, why not we'll more turnover? <laughs> I'm telling you what, no. boy. I tell you, 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 you definitely got a lot of combined experience over there. Folks, listeners, if you want to know what's going on with lighting, these folks are something else. They, they, I mean, they just are, you know, you've been there. You've seen all the stages and evolution of the lighting, right? Yeah, and brass is coming back. <laughs> is, that right? is that right? It is. It you is. laugh. You laugh. We are not kidding. Okay, I won't laugh anymore. <laughs> yes, that's right. All right. You're gonna see. <laughs> what are some of the What are some of the top brands that you recommend? If people are, uh, I mean, should people even be thinking about brands or just forget about brands? No. Come in, listen to Angie and Andrea. Keep your mouth shut and your ears open. That style is more important, I yeah. would say, in lighting than brand. Yeah. 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 Brand recognition isn't a huge thing, really. Yeah. I, yeah. I wouldn't think so. You know, do do a lot of these products you sell, so I, I would uh, especially some of the high end, do they come with, with good warranties? Yes. All of our fans come with a lifetime limited warranty. All of our ceiling fans from Savoy House, they come with um, a lifetime lim- limited warranty. Um, depending on the fixture, depending on the manufacturer, and we could go over that all with the, the consumer, the customer in the showroom. Because each vendor does it a little bit differently. Yeah, and then like with um, the integrated LED fixtures, um, Mm -hmm. some of those come with five-year warranties. Um, Some of them come with three. Um, It's all going to vary a little bit. Some come with one year. Um, It'll all vary, and those are things we would go over with with them as they're making their purchases. Tell us about your customer service policy after the sale. Well, one thing customer service is – Progressive's priority. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Once a fixture is electrically installed, we can't return it because we cannot sell somebody else a used fixture. So that would be one of the major requirements, I think, that we have. Yeah, just that we can't take it back once it's been installed. Otherwise, you know, as we can take it back as long as it's we have the box um, and it's in its original, you know, packaging, we can still take the fixture back. They can take it out you know, put it together, hold it up, mm-hmm. they just can't cut the wires and actually have the fixture installed. One thing that's very unique about progressive lighting, too, a lot of times is, like we were talking about before, we will find you that fixture. If we happen to have to special order something, progressive will allow you to return it. Um, with It's subject, of course, to a restocking fee, but what sets us apart is we'll actually take back special orders, where most lighting companies don't do that. Also, it's pretty cut and dry. Progressive lighting is known for customer service. So it's a really case-by-case situation, but we're going to, at the end of the day, make the customer happy. Right. 
Well, ladies, we're up against the break, and we're going to be entering into our last segment here. And I know we've got a lot more to talk about, but uh, you're listening to the All Four Seasons Home Show. I'm Jim Nearkos. We're here with Andrea and Angie from Progressive Lighting. And uh, Progressive Lighting is obviously the place to go, ladies. Uh, From what you're saying, I mean, I, I don't see why anybody would want to go anywhere else. We'll be right back. You're listening to the All Four Seasons Home Show on News Radio 1067. Here are your hosts, Dan Watkins and Jim Niarcos. Welcome back to the All Four Seasons Home Show. I'm Jim Niarcos, and we're going into our last segment here with progressive lighting. And Angie and Andrea have been talking about things that, uh, are, you know, you would have no idea that. Uh, you'd have over progressive lighting and how much they can help you. And it's just a very impressive story. They've been around 50 years and that's why we have them here. We've, we always search far and wide for the best people on the topic. We're going to, we're going to talk about during the week. And these ladies certainly haven't disappointed us, but um, I'd like to know, you know, we're coming into fall now and you know, fall hits. And before you know it, <clears throat> all the different holidays that everybody, different people celebrate starts hitting and, and, and that's a very special time of year for progressive lighting, isn't it? There's a lot going on over there, and we want to know what's going on. We want the, we, we want the 411, ladies. Yeah, we, we can do that. Well, as you go into um, starting to prepare for Thanksgiving and, uh, well, even Halloween, Halloween, everyone starts with those outdoor Labor lights, it seems like. Labor Day and Halloween, people start looking at making sure that their outdoor lights work. Because when the kiddos start ringing the bell for the Halloween candy, the trick-or-treaters, right. it seems like we sell more outdoor lights in the month of October. So um, that's one of the big times where people are checking, replacing those, upgrading those fixtures. Then they start doing their dining rooms, their foyers, their kitchens, preparing for having all the family over for Thanksgiving, upgrading those fixtures. Um, then you start getting into your... You know, your holiday celebrations, your Hanukkah, your Christmas, your New Year's festivities. Um, So it's just a really big time of the year for us where people are doing a lot of their upgrades and their remodeling. And don't forget about football, ladies. Of course, football season. Yes, 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 absolutely. Well, you have a lot of different things. Um, Don't you have a lot of sales and discounts and things that are available during that time? But of course we do. Okay. Well, I'd like to. (laughs) uh, We want to talk about saving money here on the All Four Seasons Home Show. We want to. We want to save some dinero. Yes. So let's let's cough it up. So starting on September the sixth. We have our 45% off all of the home decor products. That is going to be our fall sale. So 45% off of all home decor is going to be like mirrors, furniture, lamps, accessories for the home, um, everything that is home decor. Um, Wait a minute. That's my bad ear. uh, What percentage? 45%. 45%. That's that's pretty significant, folks. Yes. Um, Sounds like, a, you know, there's a lot of savings there. Yes, absolutely. That is a wonderful, that is yeah. framed art, um, wonderful, wonderful accessories. Well, you have ex- a lot of accessories out there that we you'll be do. selling. We do. We even have stuff for your man cave for the football season. Is that Come right? Now. Cool, yeah. cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. well, talk to us about some um, of that man cave stuff if you can <laughs> since since we're since we're starting up with football here now. Well, when your wife picks it out, it will be the man cave, you yeah. know, kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's he, man. We like to have that stuff in the man cave all oh, get to keep you ladies out and just you just want to be in there and just make sure it's just for us guys. Well, then while she's got you in the man cave, then she can pick out her um, crystal chandelier for the dining room because then those are also going to be 25% off. Wow. So all crystal chandeliers are also going to be 25% off starting September 6th. That's also part of the fall sale. So Well, things that sound like they're really rocking over there. there. There really is. You know, you hear a lot about... Uh, this is a sale. This is a sale, and sometimes they're really not sales, folks. But this is this is a real, real deep discount on a lot of these products, and uh, it sounds like a great time to 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 spruce the house up in a lot of different ways mm-hmm. for the holidays, right? Yes, yes, yes sure. absolutely. Now I wanted to. You folks have quite a reputation. You've been featured on 
on some TV programs and, 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 and magazines and all that. Y'all are famous, and yes, we're just so yes. happy to have you here on the All Four Seasons Home Show. Where else have you been on? Where else have you ladies been? Well, one of the, um, I guess, most exciting things has been uh, several seasons of the Property Brothers. Oh, yeah. Um, they have used a lot of our many, many um, st- locations and Savo- a lot of Savoy House product and Coming to, God, I guess, gosh, all of our locations, really. Mm-hmm. Um, the first season of Home Free, um, we've been in multiple magazines, Veranda, Traditional Home, Florida Design. Um, so, yeah, we've been featured in many, many uh, TV and uh, magazine yeah, publications. And, the and you've that... been on News Radio 106.7 with That's Shannon Burke right. and Jim right. Nianco's hot dog. Oh, yeah. Second time uh, now. Uh, yeah. Second yeah. time, yeah. Well, that's cool. That's cool. And uh, you'll probably be featured a lot more because uh, I know you're highly respected, uh, not just in, in the Atlanta area, but far and wide for your knowledge, experience, and your integrity. It's uh, the people from Pro- Progressive Lighting are... Uh, Shall we say quite impressive? Thank What's you. What, what what can we look forward to in the future for from progressive lighting? What's what what's the five year plan or well, where do you see you all going with this? We're going where our customers want us to go. Far as where the um, where the market goes, far as tra- more transitional, more clean lines. That's where kind of the decor things are going. Um, there's we always come up with new products once at least once a year. So. The market's constantly changing, and we're continuously with that market. There's We are continuously going. We have five locations, so each location, each store has something a little bit different because Midtown selection might not be the exact same thing as popular in Alpharetta. So each one of our locations carries a little bit of different different products, different selections, things like that. So not just one location, all five. And I'm sure all five locations can easily communicate with each other all the time. Yes. So if you go into one location, if you're in Alpharetta and you you know you can't find what you want, they'll call the other stores and uh, and 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 you folks have quite a nice website. And we have uh, Jesse here who's been in the background here offering <laughs> his support. Jesse, thank you for coming today. Uh, but uh, he did the website, and folks, you really need to check out this website. The web the web address is progressivelining.com. Very easy to. I mean, it is, it is very very extensive. It'll give you a little. It it'll kind of just wet your little taste buds to come in to one of the locations and see what's going on. But I'd like you all to just go over real quick because this is important uh, to the listeners. You know what you have available coming up with the sales again and the different products are you know all, all the different things you carry so we can can make sure that nobody misses that. So we have um, again we have the f- furniture sale. It's well, it's actually going to be the home decor. accessory home decor sale, forty five percent off. It's going to be lamps, mirrors, furniture, accessories, forty five percent off. Then we have the crystal chandelier sale. Um, it's basically going to be, um, 25% off all of the crystal chandeliers. Doesn't have to be full bodied, um, complete crystal chandeliers just has to have crystals on it. Um, those are all starting on September the 6th. And that's on all five of our locations. All five locations. Um, also on our website as well. If you find anything that is on the progressivelighting.com website, um, we will honor that in the store. Um, if you find it on the website and you don't see it in the store, we will also honor that 25% off price as well. So wow. that's, that's awesome. And mm-hmm. the five locations, would you just tell us w- where those five locations are? Yes, we have one off of Satellite Boulevard in Duluth. We have one in, off of uh, Alpharetta Highway in Roswell. We have one off of Georgia 400 at Lanier. It's actually the coming location or Lanier location. We have one at Cobb Place Drive in Marietta. And we have one in Midtown of 14th Street in Atlanta. So, folks, no matter where you're at or even if you're not, uh, you know, real close to one of these, it's worth the drive. It certainly is. And um, it's been, uh, you know, if they want to contact you, is the website the best way or you want to give a phone number or what's? Um, I will give you both Andrea and I are out of our Roswell location at okay. area code 
nine nine eight seven. Both of our, Andrea and I both are out of that location, so that is our Roswell location. And then all of the stores are listed on the website Web. as well with right, the addresses. Right. Well, it's been great. You ladies have been have, have been fantastic. We certainly want to have you back again on the All Four Seasons Home Show. Andrea and Angie and Jesse in the background. <laughs> we want to appreciate everybody uh, listening to Progressive Lighting. And we want to invite you to, to uh, join in next week on the All Four Seasons Home Show, where we'll have Tim Bolton of the Pool Butler giving you all the information you need to get your pool ready and um, can, kind of avoid some expensive maintenance problems, too, I'm sure. So this is the All Four Seasons Home Show. I'm Jim Nearkos. Dan Watkins will be back next week right here on News Radio 1067.